situation in Ethiopia, we're joined by Awal Olo. He is a lecturer at Kiel University who specializes in human rights and international law. Thanks so much for joining us. This seems like a huge step and really a huge change of heart on behalf of the government. Is it that or are you more cynical? I wouldn't say it is a huge step. Of course, it is an important step for people who are locked uh, without uh, committing any crime. Uh, it's a very important step for their families and for the movement they were involved in, also for the Ethiopian people. And I think it can be an important step towards achieving that stated goal of national reconciliation and opening up the democratic process. But in terms of the broader crisis, uh, this really unprecedented explosive crisis facing the country, it is simply a drop in the ocean. And I think the government needs to go far, far uh, in terms of achieving those stated goals. Expand on that then. What else needs to happen to satisfy critics of the government and those who say it really is a dictatorship? I don't think the government actually denies that it is a dictatorship. It is the same party that has been ruling the country for the last 26 years. Currently, it holds 100% of seats in parliament. There is, can be no other, really, no better indication that it is an authoritarian government. I think the government has came to the point where it has admitted uh, in the last few months uh, that it has some serious problems, and it has a problem of democracy within the party and also in the country. Now. I think the, the step that the government outlined, uh, which is beginning by uh, releasing political prisoners, is an important one. Uh, if the government wants to open up the democratic process, uh, it has to include opposition politicians, and opposition politicians at the moment are completely wiped out, and uh, almost 100% of uh, the independent autonomous uh, opposition uh, movements are either in prison or chased out of the country and they are in exile. So if the government seriously wants to pursue national consensus, it is important that it releases all political prisoners. It also admits the fact that it actually holds political prisoners. There are so many people in the Unfortunately, it seems we've lost uh, audio with AWOL Alo, so we will have to leave it there. Hey, well, if you